Hi everyone! In this video, we're going to be taking a look at this little piece of plastic. This may not look like much, but if you've been on the internet these last few weeks, you might already recognize what this is. If you haven't seen this before, let me show you by demonstrating what it does to this pair of pliers. Now that's kind of interesting. This little piece of plastic has some serious optical trickery going on, and that's what we're going to dig into in this video. So this is what is known as a Fresnel lens. Some of you might be familiar with what a Fresnel lens is from watching videos about solar heating or cooking. Fresnel lenses, often found in old style TVs, are a piece of plastic usually, with a lot of microscopic ridges on the inside. And these little ridges act like a prism to redirect light like a camera lens or a magnifying glass. We can see an example of how a Fresnel lens works by looking at a very large scale version, the lens for a lighthouse. This is what a Fresnel lens would look like if you expanded it to a macroscopic scale. These ridges in the light fixture are redirecting the light to be in a focused beam. And a Fresnel lens can be designed to redirect the light in any number of ways. Now, not every Fresnel lens will do this same optical trick. This is a very specific kind of Fresnel lens called a Ludor's lens. The way this works is by taking the light that is coming in at an obtuse angle to the back of the lens and projecting it straight forward, making it look like the images that are to the left or right of the lens are actually straight behind it. So we can see when we hold this in front of the players here, you can still see these parallel sticks behind them. Now you can see that if I move this to the side, it makes these sticks look like they're much longer than they actually are. And that's showing you how it's taking light that is coming from the side and extending it further this way into the depth of the lens. Now, if I put this back in front of the pliers and flip it sideways, Suddenly, it's kind of hard to see, but you can see the, the handle of the pliers shining through this lens, and suddenly these parallel sticks have disappeared. Now I turn it back the other way, and there they are, they reappear. Now, since a Ludor's lens is made up of regular vertical lines across the entire surface, we can actually magnify these without the use of a microscope, if we just have another one. If we put these together, especially in front of a light source, we start to see something called the Moray effect. The Moray effect allows us to provide a sort of false magnification as we rotate these lenses together. We start to see lines form, and these lines are an optical illusion, a sort of false magnification that is generated as the regular optical structures on the surface of these lenses interfere with one another we're actually not seeing individual lines on the surface, we're seeing a cumulative effect, different segments of each line added together to make it look like each line is much larger than it is. And in fact, these lines are facing the opposite direction than they look. They're facing vertically, when with this effect, they actually look like they're going horizontally. Now, this type of lens went viral recently thanks to one particular company demonstrating these for use for military and police applications as an invisibility shield. They attached this type of material to a riot shield and demonstrated how someone can become invisible by hiding behind it in a closed room. Now, I don't mean to take away from this company's efforts in promoting this material. By explaining it, I hope it doesn't make it any less impressive. It's true that this material only looks convincing on certain backgrounds and in certain orientations. If there are parallel lines in the background, that makes it look especially convincing because it looks like you can see straight through it. Without these parallel lines, well, it's a little bit foggy. But still, with the table in the background, well, that's still pretty convincing. I still think this is a pretty impressive technology. I'll put some links in the video description below where you can purchase your own Ludor's lenses. They're pretty inexpensive and they're usually sold for magic tricks. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope this explained a little bit about these little pieces of plastic. Leave me some comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.